All right, can you guys even see me? I'm gonna prop you up on my bags in the back of my car. My friend got my butt out of bed this morning. I had another horrible night going to sleep last night. So I did not plan on being at the park by 9 a.m. Is her? No. Nope. But she texted me at 8.15. She's like, let's go. Let's go. So I still had time to peruse my phone a little bit and still make it here before her. Which is great. She should be pulling in any second. I'm trying to get my shoes on. But today, I've got to keep standing right here. Today is the day before school starts for my kiddos. Abby has already been at school yesterday and today. She is the yearbook editor in chief. She has an assistant or two as well. But the whole team, I got to get my shoes on. And you got to. Hang on. Okay, shoes are on. I'm gonna get them all laced, right? Pulled tight. So Abby's whole yearbook staff had all day meetings today and yesterday. They had food brought in for them too. But they have a lot of stuff that they have to start with right off the bat. I don't think I need anything else in here. I've got tissues. Let me just tell you what I take with me. Phone. Normally I have headphones, but I have a walking buddy to talk to today. Tissues in that pocket with my phone because when I take my sunglasses off when I go in the shade, I don't want them to get scraped from the tissues. I have fidget rings, my silicone rings on both fingers because I put them on my thumbs. This is just a little quirk about me. I put them on my thumbs and I twist them back and forth. One, it keeps my hands moving so they don't get swollen. Um, and two, I just like to fidget. I'm a fidget person. I have to be doing something with my hands almost all the time. What else do I have? So then I have my sunglasses and usually I have my headphones in my ears. And then I've got my weighted vest, my tennis shoes. I'm gonna go for a walk. So Abby has been at school all day yesterday and today. Um, and then she went out with a friend last night um, or the yesterday afternoon, hung out with her. But tonight is officially the night before school. So when I go home, I'm gonna make sure the house is clean. I've done the laundry. Um, I uh, Their bags are pretty packed. We've already done that. And then their school teachers come out today, um, Chelsea and Ashley's. I mean, Abby's technically too, but she already knows, she already knows the teacher because she has like chemistry and there's only like one full chemistry teacher. And then I think that's what the class she has. And then yearbook, she already knows. So, um, we'll get the girls teacher assignments and then they're going to go on a whole bustle with all their friends who's in my class, all that yada yada. Um, we had that issue at cheer last night because the other schools had already released their teachers and so that's all the girls wanted to talk about in the beginning of cheer last night and we're like, come on you guys, we've got to get, we've got to get going. So anyway, um, side note, no bugs last night at cheer. So strange. It was just the first, the one night. No idea where they all came from. They all hatched and maybe they all died. Who knows? Okay. I'm going to, oh, there's, nope. I don't know where my friend is. So maybe I'll do a lap around. I feel like she would be here before I got around. So anyway, we're going to walk, get ready for school, get them in. Oh, there she is. Okay. All right. I have been busy doing all the back to school things and all the end of summer things. We've got a, a chicken out here. Right there. Not sure why she's still out. Can we put her away? She's just sitting right there. Yeah, I don't want her to poop anywhere. She won't, trust me. Okay, well, I just, she's been out long enough. Oh, calm down. But I also have all the cushions. I know, she's just wanting to be in the sun. Okay, okay. Um, I have all the cushions drying out. We've taken down the little umbrella for now. I'm nope, gonna get these. I know, I know. Jeez, what's the I need all of that stuff dried off and then I might. I don't know when we have rain coming again. Yesterday or the other day it rained when it wasn't supposed to at all. 
So I kind of want to get everything dried up and then um, we still kind of go out there. I did, I went out there for my lunch today, but um, the rain is coming. It is what it is. So I might try and get that stuff bagged up, but it needs to truly dry out first. Um, but I have gotten Chelsea's schedule went live. And so I have sent that to her and Ashley's goes live in two hours. Um, but I can't figure out her password. It doesn't work even though I'm meticulous about my passwords and I document them and it doesn't work. So I'm waiting for an email from the district to change her password. She's gonna be very annoyed with me in two hours if she doesn't get her schedule. <laughs> I do have a way of getting her schedule if I can't get into it. My friend works for the district so she could get it for me but um, I'm trying to get her password reset to get in to her family access. So I have done that, found out what time their buses come because the high school, I've said this before, I haven't done high school bus time for four years plus um, because of COVID and um, once Kaylee and Abby went back to school, they could drive. So <laughs> uh, I checked on that for Chelsea. She goes about 10 minutes before Ashley goes, which is perfect. They're both gonna be getting up at the same time. Um, Abby will be getting up at the same time as them. Um, she doesn't have first period, I think, so she'll go right after them. So it'll be Chelsea, Ashley, Abby. Abby doesn't have first period, but she does have second and third, I think is what she's gonna do. That's the nice thing about senior year. If you plan it right, you can have a really, really nice schedule <laughs> in your junior and senior years. Um, and she's already, Abby is already looking at um, the applications for scholarships and grants. Um, and Jason's already looking up the FAFSA for her and set, they've already set up her account. If you don't know what FAFSA is, it's uh, financial aid. I don't remember what the acronym is. Um, but they're already looking at that. They're already like gung ho on getting that lined up and um, applying for things. And Abby's going to start writing her um, essays for all of those applications and we're just going full into it because she's like I want to get as much as I can she has great grades and she has a good potential of getting some scholarships so that is just back to school like that's just life and Ashley just requested a couple hours ago when I got home from my walk there's no snacks mom there's no snacks for lunch despite the fact that we've gone to Costco a bajillion times there's no snacks mom there's there's no snacks. There's no snacks, mom. There's there's none. There's no snacks. There's none. There's none. There's nothing to eat. There's not uh, to be fair, that's gone. They did well on that. I think Abby's the one eating these guys. To be fair, that one's gone. They did well on that one. You could put she thinks I'm gonna mix these in. She thinks these old ones. We're gonna have them up front that are, she think, says they don't taste good, but we're gonna put those up front and we're gonna put these guys. So I'm gonna take her to Costco. This is her request is that we go to Costco specifically for lunch snacks. And for now, she got to do school lunches a lot last year. Um, and I just went with it because she was kind of having like her eating issues and she enjoyed school lunch for whatever reason. And so, but I don't want to do that this year. So I'm willing to go and get some juice boxes and I'm not doing fruit snacks because I'm not doing red dyes. Um, but I am willing to go and get a few things. But clearly we don't need granola bars, protein bars. Um, so I guess maybe I should just go through this really quick. Um, this peanut butter granola is good. But granola is not a snack for school. See, I think, I don't think these are stale, but she'll want, want cheeses. We could get cheeses. We should just make these into some Muddy Buddies. Maybe I'll get Abby to do that today. Turn those into some Muddy Buddies. Um, this is cereal. Anyway, I'm gonna go through snacks with this ramen. I don't know why the ramen is in the snack bucket, but we're going to go through here and the garage. I actually, I actually have, let me show you. These are pretty much gone. 
so we can get some more tortillas because I think Abby still has some queso dip that she'll eat, but I do have a stash. I don't remember when I got it, maybe a week or two ago. Um, I'll just show you here. Um, I think I have to open the garage for you guys to even see anything in here. And for whatever reason, I didn't park, oh, I know, I, I didn't park the car in the garage when I came home because I was cold and I wanted to sit in the sunshine and I took a little nap in my car. It was like five minutes while I listened to a podcast. Um, I need to organize out here a little bit. Um, but it felt nice to like sit in the sunshine. So my car is out here. But I went to Costco and because these two items were on rebate, um, I got them. Also, uh, Special K was on rebate. Uh, last week, I think, and I keep forgetting about it. I don't eat breakfast. Um, these were also on rebate at Costco. So you can see that we've stocked up, but someone, that doesn't go there. Bah! All right, I'm gonna organize this really quick. I can't even get in to show you what it is um, that I got on rebate, but the kids don't know I have it. And it's, it's, it's silly, it's not even a big thing. But let me organize this so we know what we need to actually get at Costco. Okay, took a little detour to show the neighbor's and like son and his two friends the chicken in the back. And I did not and will not show the evidence of how my fridge just looked. There's a lot of towels in that garbage bag. There's also a couple components of the fridge that are currently inside needing to get cleaned off. We'll, we'll worry about that later. I don't know if Ashley's cleaned them off inside. I'm going to go in and wash my hands. That was disgusting. Something spilled in the bottom of it a long time ago. We won't talk about how long ago. So we needed a lot of bleach. Oh, this is Windex window cleaner. Fantastic. I thought that was bleach. But there's vinegar in it. So it's all good. It worked. Um, let me just show you the state of the fridge. Well, let me... I can't hold the camera because... My hand is dirty. So let me, <laughs> and I honestly thought this was bleach. It's just awesome. Totally, LA is totally awesome window clean. That's fantastic. I thought it was bleach. It works, but um, let me show you what the fridge looks like. Then we'll show you the shelves here, kind of put things away. And then I think Ashley was busy working on the pantry. All right, here are the shelves. We got breakfast drinks and bre breakfast bars. The other pack of it is inside. Um, Ashley put it inside. The extra Cheez-Its, my cereal, Ritz crackers. There's extra in here. We also stocked up inside. We've got extra peanut butter, protein powder. I need to start using that more. Um, and then we've got like mixes. We've got the brownie mix and the cornbread mixes in there. We've got some cookie mixes. I just need to have Ashley do those when our friends come over on weekends now. Pickles, jelly, um, canned ch chicken. And then down here, I had this whole box um, down here filled with Progresso soup and olives. And these were empty, so I was able to fill those up here. Um, that tray actually goes back inside. Where's the, the glass? It's right there. I'll put that away. That goes back in the fridge. Um, I hand wiped that one down. Then we've got the apple juice, apple juice and applesauce. Um, and now the fridge reveal is done and clean. We brought the other muffins in. I saved the, those muffins for um, back to school day, but I actually just had one, so she doesn't go to Costco hungry. Apple juice is just for smoothie making. We don't drink juice in general because it's just a lot of sugar. Um, and then an extra sour cream. Got bread and Jason's little tiki masala, whatever, chicken coconut curry with mango, whatever that is. Eggs, and then this is the one that I don't like. We had this one. This chicken pad thai it is, I do not like that one at all. Then I stocked up um, Ashley's um, uh, Gatorade Zeros down here. She can use these for not only for school, but also for practices. Um, same here, she can take a little water bottle if she doesn't want to take her big one. And then these are the full size, like there's just the minis and a full size ones. All right, inside, got these soaking. Ashley has already washed this one, but she stopped to have some lunch. These are the other muffins that I bought. They're gonna be for school tomorrow. She, there was a, a bag, she's gone through all these like snacky things. These are garbage. Actually, that's not. 
that's fine. Um, but the bag of the snap peas cracker thingies, that's all that was left. So I'm glad she put that in a little baggie. And, oh, these little, we'll save those. Okay. Okay, then in here, she put a box of the breakfast bars, granola bars I did. Those are ready to go. Then the snack bucket, she kind of organized throughout any old stuff. And then all the, see, this is what happens. She does all these little half things of Ritz crackers and doesn't finish them. So she's got to finish that. I'd like a better place for that. Um, they need to use these before they open up more. There's protein milks. Maybe I'll put some of those in the fridge for her for school. Um, and this is like all granola. Like all these things in here are granola. Um, so I think we're all set. Um, now I kind of know roughly maybe what we'll, we're going to get. Are you ready to go, Ash? I don't think we need much. But I'm just going to appease her. We'll get a few things. <laughs> a few. Fast forward to Costco. Um, no, because I already got you Cheetos. I didn't tell her that yet. Cheetos yeah, said, and Cheetos Ranch has. Doritos. They're oh, hidden. Please. No, because they went too fast. Like, I'm, they're, they're already gone. Because I like them too much. Okay. Did you get these Cheeto puffs? Yeah, I got those oh, okay. Cheetos. Because they're on rebate. Yes. I'm letting her have these popcorners. We do not do individual wrapped, no. like, snack stuff like this, except for on vacation. So I'm letting her have this one because it's on rebate. This is just in general. Okay, we're getting some Capri Suns. This is like really unusual. No, not usual. Not usual at all. What did you just say? I'm shocked you said so. yes to these things. I want you to have good lunches. I don't want you to start not eating lunch at middle school. It's a <laughs> lot of work. Pizza. They have pizza. I'm not letting you get school lunch, so let's eat these foods. No, you're not. That's why I'm buying these. Okay, checking out. I'll tell you everything we got. Okay, got our school schedules and we're actively calling as many friends as we possibly can. Well, I'm seeing to confirm classrooms, correct? Yeah, I have PE. No, I have Yeah, yeah, PE first. Chorus second. with one teacher and then I have um or with lunch one? with all my friends. Oh good. Except Everyone has your same lunch? Because she's not picking up my calls. Oh, okay. We normally do lunch by grades. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And Abby's here helping Chelsea. Um, we're gonna go to a high school night tonight yeah. for Chelsea. And that's just, so smart. They gave the schedule before you go you to the school. You can show the top part. There's like an acronym. Yeah, there's an acronym for learning the classrooms. So the classroom numbers are like the first number is the floor number. The second number is the wing number because there's three six. There's six wings, um, and then the last two numbers are the class number within that. So it's kind of confusing, so it helps to go to like orientation night. So Abby and I were talking, because she came in here, and Abby bought some new clothes for school and just in general. And she was like, Mom, they're kind of cute out there, because Chelsea was on the phone with her best friend talking to Ashley about the classrooms and the te teachers that she had. And, oh, she's really good. And, oh, good luck with that teacher, you know. And it just, they went through every single teacher for her and they were like, okay, now this, this one is on this floor and like, that'll be really easy. And then you can just go down to the PE or whatever, you know, so they were just like walking through her schedule for her over the phone. And then all of Ashley's friends started calling and they were texting and like, they're sharing their schedules. And it's just, Abby was like, it's so cute. They're all just like figuring it out. And then Abby's like, don't bother going to my curriculum night when it, <laughs> she's like, I only have two classrooms. Um, or two classes, and I don't know the yearbook teacher, she's new this year, but I already know that, you know, like, she'll be fine. Um, but anyway, it was just kind of funny. So they're all talking upstairs, and Chelsea came into the room. This is so Chelsea. She came in the room just now. She's like, so, where's my backpack? <laughs> I was like, you are really lucky that I've already cleaned it. I've already, like, put some of your supplies in it. I've already bought your supplies. Ashley's is ready. Ashley's backpack is right down there. Um, but Chelsea's getting her stuff all put in her bag. And we're going to go to um, back to school night for Chelsea. It's just kind of like an open house. PTA puts it on. And they can just walk the halls and figure out their schedule. It The high school, 
it's it's just a really confusing um layout at the school once you kind of figure it out you figure it out but there's like three halt three wings on one side of the building and then there's like an art wing where like if she does ceramics that's where she's gonna go and then there's a coral theater wing um so some of the wings are really obvious that that's what they are and then like the lunchroom is a wing so like there's half the school is like very dedicated wings so you got to just figure out you know that part of it first and then just learn the other wings to go to so i'm gonna take her to that tonight i'll get some more steps in even though i'm really really tired um and then uh, anyway uh, evidence that i'm tired um but otherwise i'm we're just i'm it's very chill we're just kind of very chill here at the house laundry is done um towels they just need to put their towels away in the closet upstairs so everyone's gonna get a fresh shower tonight um i got our bus schedules i am waiting for my, my printer i'm trying to print ashley's schedule you saw i have chelsea's printed out oop i gotta be careful um it says it's in use why can't i i don't know why this i can't get this her schedule to print and ashley definitely needs her her schedule printed Chelsea doesn't necessarily like I've got a whole page printed out for her I'm just gonna have her stick it in her backpack just in case um but she has it on her phone but Ashley won't have a phone or her iPad at school and so I'm trying to print it out for you I'm trying to print your schedule out Ash but I can't get the printer to stay online Emma's giving me advice guys I know I can hear her. it's She's cute like, Chelsea's friend no. yeah now, Emma's been on our channel before. She likes to hop on and say She's hi. She's only been on like two times. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get your print, your schedule printed off, but as you can, well, I can't show you because this the schedule's literally on the screen. So that's all I have left to do. Otherwise, like it's just making sure that we kind of keep on track. Um, Jason's probably gonna head home from work here in about 20 minutes, but I'll be going to Ashley's or Chelsea's high school event. Um, and then we'll just get in bed early and it'd be really, really nice. I'm really, really tired. If my friend had not texted me super early this morning, I wouldn't have rolled out to go to my walk until after 10. But as it was, I was at the park by nine, at the park by nine. So I'm tired. I didn't sleep well at all. My friend was like, that went walking with me. She's like, is it perimenopause? And I was like, probably, it probably is. But I, there's no distinct symptoms that I can like line up with that. But I digress. We will save that for a topic for another video. <laughs> but um, not that I know anything. I don't know any other details because I don't know what else is going on with my body. I just can't sleep at night. So, all right, we'll be back with you with a little bit more of our routine as we kind of get ready to go but right now there's a little lull and i'm enjoying it <laughs> we are literally getting the last parking spot he didn't even try going for it. chelsea and i are at the high school we're actually at the middle school in the very because we couldn't even find parking at the high school make sure you're and we're in the very last spot like everyone else is turning around this other guy in minivan he just turned around he didn't see this spot this is literally there's nothing left there's nothing left. We're gonna head over to the high school and let her walk around. And do, do you have your schedule, Chels? She's gonna do her schedule, kind of walk it, hang out with her friends, get used to the school, and then go home. Did you have fun? Yeah. They did like little tours, um, walking the students around, teaching them how to look for their room number, all that kind of stuff. And then um, they had like a parent meeting for what, like a half hour or so. And I sat outside. <laughs> you didn't go in there, did you? What, did you go into the meeting? Room? No, we just looked about the room. You just walked around? Yeah. Just trying to look at your actual classrooms. Yeah. Um, but she found a friend there, so then they walked around together. And I just waited outside. 
with all the other parents that are second and third time and fourth timers because <laughs> really we don't need to be in the meeting. So I'm going to go home and maybe I'll take you along. Maybe I won't. I'm going to go home and make dinner. Um, I'm actually going to make dinner. I'm really, really wanting mashed potatoes and gravy. And I told that to Abby tonight. She's like, oh, that sounds so good. And anyway, so I'm going to go home and make that. Um, and probably stick a chicken in the air fryer and cook that up too. We'll see how much I can get done. But I'm going to make a baked potato for her and make sure Ashley is eaten. Jason's out on a run. And I know, I asked him, he was like, well, can I help prep anything for dinner? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you like peel some potatoes, dice them up, and put them in some water? And he's like, um, yeah, I'll get to that after I get home from my run. And I was like, I'll literally be home before you're home. <laughs> Convenient. Convenient offer of help. Right, Jules? Yeah. All right. If I don't see you, well, I'll try and like check in with Ashley, make sure she's ready um, for back to school. And then I think we're going to sign off early at middle school and high school. We are done with elementary school. So fantastic. So fantastic. But also not because now you have more events to go to. Like choir. But you always have choir. I guess I have two choirs now. Yeah. But it's okay. They should be on different nights. Yeah, they always like coordinate the different schools and stuff. So, yeah. all right. Maybe I need a break. Maybe that's why I fade into this bitter taste. I think I'll let it be.